Hi guys, Chef Kendall here and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making a Swiss chocolate roll cake. Delicious and right in time for Easter. So we're gonna do a homemade whipped cream, put that right in the middle, we're gonna roll it up and then we're gonna to top it with an awesome rich ganache. Mwah. Now I am using all purpose flour, unbleached enriched. Next we're gonna do our cocoa powder. We have our baking powder, salt, you just want to make sure that all of the ingredients gets nice and incorporated like this. Next, we need to separate our eggs, the yolks, from the whites. I like to break all of the eggs into the bowl first and then get in there with my hand, scoop out that yolk, kind of snip it like some scissors, and then move it to the next bowl. Boop! Beauty! We have our whites, we have our yolks. Next step is we're going to mix together our yolks and our sugar in our mixer using the paddle attachment. We are going to do uh, low, medium, low speed for about four to six minutes. All right, our yolks with our sugar are nice and thick, pale yellow, we're good to go. Slowly add our chocolate into the mix. Ready? A little bit at a time. Just kind of give it a shake, let it incorporate in there. I'm just gonna give it a scrape. Look at my spatula here, kids. Holy cannoli, super thick. Whoa. Next, we're gonna do the egg whites. So, I've got a brand new clean bowl. Pop this guy on in here. And we're gonna whisk them. We wanna incorporate as much air as possible so they get nice and fluffy. All right, we're gonna check our peaks, guys. Let's give them a look here. Oh no, that's what we call a wet peak. It's not ready. We're gonna keep on going. Beauty! We did it. We have our chocolate mix right here, ready to go. We're gonna put half of this mixture right into the chocolate bowl. So we are just gonna mix it. And look what it's doing, right? It's thinning out our mixture. You wanna make sure you scrape the bottom of the bowl. There it goes. Upper body workout! So nothing's left on the bottom. We got all the goodness off the side. The next part is crucial. You have the rest of your egg whites, right? We took all this time to make them beautiful and fluffy. We want to try to keep them in this form. The more we touch them, the more we damage them. We're gonna put this into this bowl. You wanna slowly fold in the egg whites. We wanna make sure that we keep them beautiful, but you don't want giant chunks of egg whites in your mix, because it's not gonna bake evenly. Get all of the thick goodies in there. Again, you're gonna roll this and stuff it and then dip it in chocolate, so I don't think anybody's really gonna care. And if they do care, tell them they're not allowed to eat any of your cakes ever again. That's what you're kinda of looking for right here. Tiny little white bits are okay, and you see how there's still some like air bubbles in there? Your egg whites are good. I'm using an 11 by 17. You can basically use any pan that you want to use. It's gonna make your cake a little bit different in size. This is key. You want to spray this thing like crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lots of spray. Make sure I get the edges. Make sure there's not too much. I'm gonna take our parchment right on the top. And you're gonna spray it again. Spray, parchment, spray. Because we want this cake to come out. We're gonna pop this cake out when it comes right out of the oven and we're gonna roll it. We want a lot of it. We want a lube. Cake is going right in the pan. You can do a line right down the middle, like this. Careful with our egg whites. So we don't wanna manhandle this thing. We wanna be pretty gentle with this. This is gonna be delicious. You're just gonna kinda evenly distribute this cake. It looks super thin, but we want it to be thin because it's going to puff up a wee bit for us. This isn't a big giant cake, it's a pretty thin sponge cake. Preheated ovens are obviously best, so I have my oven at 375. In my oven it takes about 6 to 8 minutes. So everybody's oven is kind of different, so you just kind of got to know your oven, right? If I say 6 to 8 minutes and your cake is raw or it's burnt, don't get upset with me. And you'll be able to tell. It'll bounce back when you touch it. In she goes! All right, all right, you see how it's bouncing back when I touch it? She's good to go. We're gonna set this up here to cool. Now we don't want it to cool completely, so we're gonna give it, you know, two to three minutes. We're gonna have to grab this pan though, so you wanna make sure it's cool enough to grab. You're gonna take a towel and you're gonna cover this towel with powdered sugar. This is so that your cake doesn't stick to the towel. Um, this is how I do my powdered sugar. When did all this work, we definitely don't want to roll our cake up and then go to unroll it and it sticks. Boo, 
urns. And we're also gonna put powdered sugar on top of the cake. I know it seems like a lot of powdered sugar. It's Easter. Easter's full of sugar. This is the flipping. It's gonna get messy, might be dirty, no big deal, right? I like to do it like this. Get your belly in there, okay? And use one hand here, one hand here. Just do a real fast motion like so. Beauty, right? Done. Now we just pray to the cake gods that the paper comes off. Ends might be a little crunchy, but don't worry about it. This is gonna be, it's gonna be wrapped. There's gonna be homemade whipped cream in there. We're gonna put a ganache on there. Yes, we've got a tiny little hole, not a big deal. One more round of powdered sugar right on top of this guy before we roll it. Now for the rolling. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take one end, and you're just gonna fold it over like this. And then you're gonna keep rolling up this cake. This cake is warm and as it starts to cool, it's gonna remember to keep this form. So when we unroll this cake to put the cream in there, it's gonna stay in this beautiful form. And don't be scared, you can push down on it, right? It's a sponge. So we reach the end like so, and you're gonna want this to cool on a wire rack. It's because we want the air to get all the way around this cake. If we keep it on the ground, that bottom's gonna take longer to cool. Homemade whipped cream, super easy, delicious, and you will never buy it ever again. Pile the sugar on in there. Pour the heavy cream in. All right, whipped cream is ready to go. Next part is the rolling part. Okay, nice and easy. So look, it, it's not sticking, which is good. You're gonna see a little, few cracks in the middle. If you have any holes or anything, you might also see those as well. You gotta make sure you get to the edges, right? So we're just gonna do some quick smearing. So next, we're gonna re-roll this. Okay, obviously we're not gonna roll the towel in there anymore, right? So, we're gonna keep on rolling here. And I like to get all these fingers, right? So I have my thumbs behind here that's kind of supporting the cake and rolling, and then I have all the other, the phalanges here just working hard. Now we come to the edge. So what you wanna do is you wanna roll it all the way so that this is on the bottom. Right? You can get, put a little pressure on there. Okay? Look at that. Ooh, it's a beauty. Give it a hug, tuck it in like a burrito or a toddler. Look at that. Mm. Mm. So next, guys, we're gonna make our ganache. There's a wee bit of water in the bottom of a um, stainless steel pan, and then I'm putting a bowl over the top. This will make sure that I don't burn my chocolate chips. <laughs> Pour my heavy cream right on top. So you just kind of let it do its thing and then keep an eye on it, give it some more twirls. You wanna stir it until it glistens. Okay, it's ready. If you guys are ready, let's decorate this, this SOB. I like to cut off the little bits, the crispy ends. Super easy, just kind of run your knife through there, like that, and oh, look at that. It's a thing of beauty. Awesome, all right, I'm gonna do this other end real quick. You can use a serrated, like a bread knife. You can do whatever, oh, guys. We did it. It's a kind of a fickle thing. Once ganache starts to get cool, it hardens. So, kinda gotta move fast, but not super fast. Like, have fun with this, right? It's kind of like painting. bunnies, we have some eggs, we have some grass. So while it's still kind of wet, you can just kind of sprinkle some stuff on there, right? Now, this is gonna start to firm up. Just kind of gotta like roll it a little bit. You kind of go in there and you yank it off, all that chocolate's gonna be left behind, and that's just a bummer. We did it, guys! Swiss chocolate cake roll, yes! How about we slice into it? Let's eat it. It's gonna be glorious! she is. Oh, look at that beauty. Oh, look at all those beautiful swirls. It's nice and tight. That whipped cream. Let's see how we did. Don't eat the grass. Here it is. Yes.
This is delicious. We made the chocolate one and now there's some more ideas for you out there. Because it is Easter, you know, bunnies and carrots and all that awesome stuff. I also made a carrot Swiss roll right here. Um, so it's really good. It's got a cream cheese frosting, there's red walnuts, there's raisins in there. Oh, oh, see, look at that. And you know what I like about these cakes? You just pick it up with your hand and eat it, huh? Cream cheese frosting. That's it, guys. I hope you have fun making these recipes. Make them a few times. Eat the whole cake by yourself. Why not? Have fun. No rules.